My Google Classroom. Video number two, what is Google Classroom? A rapidly growing number of teachers are finding their way to Google Classroom. Find out what Google Classroom is and what you can do with it. What is GC? Google Classroom helps teachers and students to communicate and can be useful to organize and manage assignments that go paperless for collaboration between students and between teachers and so on. It's built on top of Google Docs and Google Drive, which means it's very easy to use and intuitive for any teacher. Things you can do with Google Classroom. First of all, it's completely free. You won't have to upgrade to a pro version that will cost you some money. After you've set up your classroom, you can get started. You'll find out how to set up your Google Classroom account in just a few minutes. Here's the list of things you can do with it. Number one, add announcements and lesson material. Give your student announcements about your lesson. Add lesson material in the announcements. That way, students can find everything quickly. You can add material from a Google Drive connected to that Google Classroom lesson. Add files and images from your computer. Add a YouTube video or add any other link you want your students to visit. Number two, add assignments. Just like adding an announcement, you can add an assignment to your course. It works the same way, but here you get the option to add a dual date. It will notify your students when they have to make an assignment and it will also appear in their calendar. Number three, grade an assignment. Afterward, you can check and grade the assignments your students have handed in. There's room for feedback via teacher comment. Then send the assignment back to your students. Number four, manage students. Of course, your students have to be able to share comments or not. That's completely up to you. You can manage permissions giving students the ability to post and comment. Only comment or give only the teacher the ability to post and comment. You can even email your students individually. Things you can do with Google Classroom. There are a few things you should know before you start using Google Classroom with the wrong reasons. It's an online learning platform, but it isn't. A chat box, a test or quiz tool, a discussion forum, setting up google classroom in three simple steps this means google classroom must mean something to you you'll find it easy to set up and very intuitive to keep on using it follow these steps to set up your google classroom teacher account number one sign in when you go to classroomgoogle.com you can use classroom by logging in using a g suite email address or you can use it without claiming to use it for education Everything works just fine that way too. It's just harder to manage your students if you have hundreds of them. You'll have to add them one by one. Number two, create your first class. Click on the plus button in the right upper corner. Choose your create a class. Here you find in some detailed information about your class. Write down a good class name and section. The class name should be the title of your class so you can find it back in a few seconds. Then click on Create. Number three, invite students to your class. Once you have created your class, you can invite your students. Let them sign using the Google Classroom app by entering the unique code you gave them. You'll find the code in your created class. Go to the tab Students. Another option is to invite your students one by one by entering their email address. Google Classroom makes organizing and managing all your Google apps, activity, streamlined, and easy. Set it up in minutes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.